What's up, Fate family? Jarvis Guy and the Voyager SYT here, and welcome back to another Diecast review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Wheels 1967 Pontiac GTO from the 2022 Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes series of cars, which was a, a line of patriotic American themed diecast cars that had uh, these really unique blister cases that if you bought all the Stars and Stripes cars and made this like bicentennial inspired design, it was pretty cool. I'll, I'll throw an image of it up on the screen if I'm able to. Uh, and I, I have actually reviewed uh, cars from that line before. I think I reviewed a Mustang before, but now we get to review the original muscle car. Well, maybe not the original, but it was definitely one of the first, and, and it definitely inspired uh, the rest of the muscle cars that we see today. The Pontiac GTO. This is this is an absolute classic, man. This feels like the epitome of American muscle cars, and it's it's an absolute shame. Uh, that you don't see them on the roads anymore. And they don't, of course, they don't make them anymore since the, the federal government killed Pontiac, since I guess killing uh, JFK wasn't enough. Uh, they they might murk me for saying that. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this die cast car. And from the images I saw, this seems like a pretty faithful recreation of the GTO, although uh, they did get a bit fancy with it. They added quite a bit of gold to this vehicle, which, I mean, some may say they went a bit overboard, but I think it looks pretty cool. And of course, you have the American flag sort of design on here. And while it may not strictly adhere to the flag code, I think back in the 20th century, this car would have gotten the designers in Mattel uh, murked by federal regulators. Uh, I, I do think it looks pretty cool. This is probably the best way to implement the American flag on the top of this car. You know, having uh, two parallel stripes instead of just one stripe down the middle, I think that adds quite a bit of texture to the car. And it just it just makes the top look a lot more interesting. It makes it seem like there's actually uh, something going on in the back. And I'll, I mean, they did do a pretty good job with the base. So th there is a lot going on in the back. And if you look at the side here, you can see another prominently displayed American flag. And of course, they gave the card a number 76 for 1776, the year that uh, Christopher Columbus uh, founded America. We also have some decals up here, uh, if I can get the camera to focus in on it. Okay, well, whatever. It says uh, GTO and... A uh, good year, I think. I hate this camera so much. Oh my! Uh, if you look right here, you can see the GTO and Goodyear logos. I am so sorry that I can't get it in better quality. If you look at the top of the car right here, you see more Goodyear logos. At the back, you got a monochrome black and white Hot Wheels logo overlaid upon the American flag. And just speaking on the base for a second, this is a really good base. And I think a large part of why it works is just the really, really specific detail they added. It was really just a few things you need to make uh, the front and back of the cast look like the actual Pontiac GTO, and they did a very good job with that. And I think uh, the fact that they chose a, a very nice a gold color for the base of the car, it really does help sort of add to the detail they have in the, in the front and the back of the car, and it really does, uh, it lets your imagination run wild, because you know, just the way the light reflects off of it. It makes it look, look so much more detailed and intricate than it actually does. So it's a little bit of mind trickery there. But the actual shaping they did do just looks really, really cool. And that's to say nothing of the fact that uh, the gold base really does fit well with the overall color scheme of the car. So overall, they did a really excellent job with this. Just the shaping was done really well. Details were are great on the base. They added quite a bit of detail on the underside. Uh, much more than they needed to, but you see it on a lot of High Wheels cars. And if you look up to the front right here, not too much going on at the top. You see a little indent for the trunk and an engine bulge, which is the most interesting thing in the world. But yeah, man, uh, moving on into recommendations, this is a very, very solid car. Uh, it's a very faithful recreation of the Pontiac GTO. And although I don't think they sell this in stores anymore, I think, you know, since it's, it's only been a year since this was on sale, I think you'd have a somewhat easy time uh, finding this. So I say seek it out, but pay a good price for it. But in my mind, I wouldn't pay more than $5 for this thing, which you may, you should be able to find it for under $5. I mean, some stores may still have it. They may have it in a little bin underneath all the new Hot Wheels cars. You can just dig through that and you'll probably find uh, at least one of these Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes cars. And hopefully it's this one because Pontiac GTO is a badass looking car and the designers did an absolutely excellent job with this American inspired vehicle. This is this this is a true American vehicle. Uh, the PNG Tuber would be very happy with this. Either way, man, I think that'll wrap up my review of the Hot Wheels 1967 Pontiac GTO from the 2022 Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes series. Um, I noticed that Mattel didn't do the Stars and Stripes series again for this year. 
hopefully they do it again uh, next year. I don't know if it's a every two year, or every four year thing, but I really enjoy when they do it because these are they they always have some great designs and they always choose the most like solid American cars for it. You know, that's something I can always appreciate. You know, man, I've been your host, Jarvis Godden. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more diecast content. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Go with God. And as always, giggity, 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 go. Stick around.